lots of battles today, lots of borne out by a lot of the headlines in the front pages today uh, about the policing of the lockdown rules. Do we have a major issue, as far as you're aware, of people flouting lockdown rules? We do have a minority of people who are flouting the rules, and that's been the case since the very beginning of the lockdowns back in last year in March and April. Uh, it, it is a minority, uh, but I think it's a somewhat growing minority of people. And of course, what has happened as well is the usual crime that police are dealing with has largely moved back to where it was previously. So police are dealing with business as usual, but they're also having to deal with enforcing the COVID laws as well. Um, and yet we see instances is, uh, say, in Derbyshire, where two police cars decided to park themselves uh, near a at the entrance of a beauty spot to try and catch people who were going out for a socially distanced walk. I, I'm sorry, I'm not entirely convinced police must be that overrun if they're having time to do things like that. Well, Derbyshire must speak for themselves. Um, and, of course, the Prime Minister must speak for why he was on a bicycle ride seven miles away from where he where he lives. And, again, this is a sort of fluidity of the rules that some people in government seem to apply to themselves uh, and not to others. What we have done is taken a proportionate approach in, uh, in, in uh, the West Midlands, is where we engage with people, we talk to people, and then, if, only then, if people are ignoring the rules we will then enforce and in cases where they're flagrantly ignoring the rules um then of course the the police have um have have other powers they can use as well okay when you say, okay let, I'll, I'll come back to flagrantly i'd love to know what that means you said the prime minister's got her questions to answer cycling five, seven miles away from downing street from his home and workplace um we have laws in place. I am required by law to wear a mask when I am in an enclosed place like a supermarket or in a uh, on the tube, for instance. I travel home every day on the tube from work. Um, there is guidance which suggests that people should exercise locally. Um, one man's local is another man's not local, we could argue. <laughs> well, was yeah. Boris Johnson breaking the law? Well, I don't know. He must interpret that himself. No, no, himself no. No, oh, no, 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 David. David, it is not written in the legislation that right. people must exercise locally. It is guidance. And there is no legal definition of what locally would mean um, in, in, in that sense. Um, in which case, that's not a question of whether or not anyone interprets the law. There is no law about exercising locally, well, is there? Precisely. But he himself has been saying to the public, stay indoors, do not go out, do not uh, exercise uh, anywhere other than reasonably near to your home. That's the problem. The other point I would make as well, some of these COVID laws are fluid. And we're saying in shops, uh, people must wear a mask. But if a person says to the, uh, to the guard outside the shop or says to a police officer, but I don't need to need wear one for medical reasons, they don't have to produce any evidence whatsoever. Mm. So if you like, that is almost unenforceable. And it's the same with domestic premises. If there's uh, COVID breaches going on, in other words, it's clear there's a big party going on. And if the police don't have suspicion of other things like uh, drugs and so on, then they have no power to enter that uh, domestic premise. And that's what I meant by flagrantly, where people clearly are flagrantly ignoring the law. The police call. Uh, they could then tell the police to go away. Um, and the police don't have any powers uh, to deal with that. They would if there were other types of law breaking, but not law breaking from the COVID laws. I think there are a lot of people, and I was tweeting about this uh, uh, late last week, who, who who get very irritated with the idea that police are out sort of patrolling, say, you know, a, a local park or, or a local beach or the like, uh, and 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 bothering people who ooh, might not all be in one household but are walking along yeah. perfectly social distance in, in a nice big breeze open air. Um, and, and, and whether or not people are, again, not endorsing anyone breaking the law, but in the big scheme of things, that's like, you know, going around trying to catch an awful lot of people uh, driving at one, you know, 31 miles per hour in, in, a, in a 30 mile per hour zone. Is that a good use of police time? When we know, and, and I've had this myself when it's happened to me, and I've had friends it's happened to, if you go, if you do things like report a burglary, I reported, a, you know, a threatened assault on the tube, uh, you know, a few years ago. It took an awfully long time to get a police officer to pay any attention to do anything. Um, and and I've, I've, you know, I've had, a, I've had you know, violent threats and a phone stalk and I was told oh change your phone number as opposed to uh, actually uh, someone actually doing anything about it. A lot of peace, people feel that frankly the police are not on the side anymore. A lot of police I think actually no, no I lie 
I think they feel ordinary officers are on their side, but that the police chiefs are not on their side in terms of the priorities that they have for policing. What do you make of that? I mean, it, it's the case as well that uh, the, the uh, my chief and um, myself as well, we are frustrated that police are being called upon to do lots of things which re really they'd ordinarily not want to do. Um, I, we wouldn't want to be stopping people uh, on the, the streets, uh, you know, the people walking along, which you wouldn't have done in a, outside of COVID. So there is a frustration with the police that we're Some being Some of them are enjoying upon. it. We've been called upon by the Home Secretary and Prime Minister to enforce things more rigorously. That's what they've been saying. And yet, one, we don't have the resource. And two, there isn't the desire uh, to be stopping people in all these circumstances, which actually, you, as you quite rightly say, uh, cause people uh, to then question whether the police are doing the right thing. That, 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 that is not a good thing for policing. We police by consent in this country and we want to continue doing that. Well, indeed, again, one of the reasons why we haven't had ID cards is that the police officers don't have the right to just stop you and ask, have you got your ID card? Can I ask you also about the uh, local elections? They also, uh, on, on the 6th of May, the parliamentary, Scottish Parliament, Welsh Assembly, local mayoral elections, but also police and crime commissioner uh, uh, elections as well. Um, uh, do you think they should be postponed from the 6th of May? I think... What the government should have been doing last year is preparing for an all postal vote election. We were asking them back in August and September, saying, look, prepare for this. They were saying, no, all is going to be well, all is going to be over by then. Um, and if it's not safe to hold the elections in May, then we just can't uh, hold them. I mean, it's as simple as that. But, but when are we going to hold them? Now, the Americans are in the same position as us. They've just elected a president. Even countries like Uganda, I think, are going to the polls this week. So other countries countries are finding ways of doing it surely this country you know as the as the very heart of, of democracy we should be actually finding ways of, of doing this so i think the government should be making every effort possible to get the elections done in in may and have an all postal vote election if possible if not this is going to drag on uh, through the rest of this year um, and you know possibly into into next year that would be totally wrong they must prepare now and do something now